SoFloRadio.com. Radio's Dirty Little Secret. What up, South Florida? You need to come on over to Absolute Graphics Custom Signs and Shirts for the latest custom championship gear. What about state champs apparel? Man, we got you. What about Greek Masonic and OES paraphernalia? Man, we got you. Just give us a call at 954-987-5900 or check us out on the web at AbsoluteGRA.com. Absolute Graphics, Custom Signs, and Shirt. Centrally located in Miramar next to Perry Airport. If we don't make it, you don't it's need time. it. You're listening to The Spot. One, two, the two, the three, the four. I want to get into it, man, you know. Let me tell you something, man. These are everyday common for working people out there. These laborers. You play the game when you're working for them. Who are you talking to like that? Nasty. Talking to your ass. Damn, y'all look good in the government check. Yeah. And now, the spot on SoFloRadio.com. How do you respond to the charges? Bill Cosby will face a criminal prosecution in Pennsylvania, but will not in Los Angeles. <laughs> Model and actress Chloe Goines claims that Cosby drugged and assaulted her at the Playboy Mansion's Midsummer Night's Dream Party in 2008. I would like to see justice for all of us. L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey's office found major problems with Goines' story. Newly released documents say that Cosby wasn't even in town during the alleged assault. He was in New York. As for Goins, she wasn't on the guest list to be there either and wasn't seen on any surveillance cameras there. Goins gave investigators possible eyewitnesses to speak with, but they denied ever knowing Goins. Cosby's attorney says, quote, We are satisfied that the LADA's office fully and fairly evaluated all the facts and evidence and came to the right conclusion. Goins' attorney says although she's disappointed, her civil suit will go on. I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. Cosby will also not face criminal charges for an alleged forcible rape from 1965. L.A. County prosecutors say the statute of limitations is up, so they are prohibited by law to prosecute. The alleged victim's attorney, Gloria Allred, tells Eyewitness News, quote, It's very difficult for a person who alleges that she's a victim to understand that there are arbitrary time periods set by law. We are, however, working to change the law in California. I had been uh, sexually assaulted by this man. Model and actress Janice Dickinson is suing Cosby and wants her legal team to depose him in court. But today, a judge ruled that Cosby doesn't have to testify until his legal team can plead their case first. Cosby's team says, quote, they're pleased. Anyway, I ain't getting started yet. I ain't started yet. I'm going to have the frost bomb coming real soon. But it's definitely going to be going out to uh, a couple of individuals out there. But uh, to homegirl in California, this one's for you. And for you again. Janice Morrison. On your, oh, Janice Dickinson. No, yeah, she yeah. gets the frost bomb. She'll get that later. She gets the frost bomb. Her. Yeah, that, that uh, voice that you hear is this damn house <laughs> guest I can't get rid of. I ain't going nowhere. I pay I, my rent. I invited them to the spot. Right here at the Palatial Studios here in <laughs> SoFlo Radio. And this guy never left a year later. He's got a show. It's called The Florida Room. You can catch it every Saturday eight at o'clock. 8 o'clock to nine, 9 o'clock you know, right mm-hmm. before. The the Gypsies. Um, the, God, <laughs> the Kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. Right here on SoFloRadio.com. Oh, but that voice you hear. <laughs> yeah. That, bo- that uh, sound you hear is from uh, one, your boy AB. What's going on, people? What's going on, sir? Uh, what's going on? It's good to be back home, man. Home? I mean, I started off here. Man, you broke out. You pulled a LeBron. <laughs> hey, um, I, I, I wanted to get into that whole Tamir Rice situation, but we got enough time to touch on it and LeBron's lack of um, testicular fortitude. Is it really LeBron's job to speak we'll, we'll, on it? We'll, we'll get it. I guess mom that. even went on But Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But... Touching on the Bill Cosby situation, um, I've been going in on on social media, media. Yeah, I see um, just just because that you know the more things change, the more things stay the same. You know, if people can't recognize that this same play out of the same playbook mm-hmm. was done when somebody else, a man of color, Michael Jackson, in power, got torn down first with ad- allegations, then with you know constant smear and taint. Tainting of the uh, man's, man's legacy, legacy and eventually death. And, you know, for people that don't recognize it, the sheeple out there, you know, 
And of course, us being people of color is going to mm. be looked at as, oh, you're defending a, a rapist because in He's both cases, if you don't recognize, in both cases, there are heinous acts being done to where you don't even question it. Yes. This person is guilty. You know, you're messing with children, you're messing, you're violating a woman's body, you're going to jail, Period. right? In the discussion. In the discussion. <laughs> but Jared played with little boys and girls, I believe, I don't you know. But that guy, it, the, the way that certain people. Swept it over, swept it under the rug. They'll sweep it under the rug, but he got convicted for what he did. Yes, true and did. He did get convicted, but. His well, Jared, wasn't tarnished. Yeah, um, well, he worked for Subway. Uh, for Subway so but yeah. at the same time, the point is, is that Jared, basically, I'm saying the, the discrepancy or or um, the double standard. I'm, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Go ahead. Are we are we comparing Jared's accomplishments to Bill Cosby's accomplishments? But that's the point. That, <laughs> that that's where it kind of kills your argument, and you have to come into an argument, as we learned with Ed Berliner. Shout out to Shout Ed. Shout out to Ed. Um, <laughs> That when you get into one of these debates, or Xavier, um, Karate Joe as we call him, <laughs> when you get into a, a debate or an argument of some kind, you better come correct with, with um, what, what you're going to with, use with, facts, yeah. with your defense. And in this case, it, it would frustrate us because, yeah, all of us, no matter what your color is, you were raised on some Bill Cosby. But... The grounds at which are being used to tear down what he was accomplishing has been circulated around why this even is happening because the embassy, the, the, yeah, the people that are questioning will be like, well, why would they be doing this to him? Well, he was planning on purchasing NBC, NBC and possibly another station. They, I don't know if it was NBC again. It might have been um, Discovery Channel. Mm. I'm not sure, but it was going to be a, a, a station that he could. I've gotten as we've learned in broadcasting school. You can reformat it and make yeah, it whatever you, you want. want. Mm -hmm. You know. So with that being said, common sense for some people it's not so common. Yeah, at all. Um, <laughs> this is what the man was in position to do. And they was gonna have that. He had a, a Netflix show. I mean, all, the, all these are the things that were thrown under the the bus that you weren't really paying attention to, thrown under the rug rather. He had a Netflix show that was scheduled Can't. to come. That they was canceled. canceled. <laughs> of course, all his uh, all his simulcasting gone. The, the syndicated shows yeah. they're gone. You know, so now you're you're tearing down any and, and all his the wall, like his star, the star, like, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That was petty, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, and, and then Robert Downey star is still up there. <laughs> you mean Robert Downey that got high on coke or whatever the drug was? Yeah, and yeah. Snuck into somebody's bedroom, fell asleep. This guy. <laughs> I mean. It's one of those. It's the elephant in the room type of thing. Yeah, you know. But it, it's 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 a little frustrating. But on a on a brighter note, because we're gonna touch on all the things that we're gonna speak on here at the spot. Uh, we got some missing folks. We might be expecting a call from our co-host du jour, uh, Miss Dree. Uh, Kneecaps. She, yeah, yeah. Dree <laughs> Dree had a silly moment, and she don't want to step out here. Here. Yeah. Throw, throw, you better throw a bonnet on that man. I told her, you but she touch said, your roots. it's not that simple. So I was like, okay, fine. <sighs> Thank call God him. I was born a penis, bro. I was like, just call it. <laughs> um, one of the other things that we got is uh, Powerball. If you don't have one, you're stuck. I know I'm just feeding into, you know, what the masses are doing in this <laughs> case. But hey, if I'm $800 richer before taxes, of course. $800 million. Did I say $800? Yeah. <laughs> $800 million. Then you're going to be <laughs> <laughs> The spot will be canceled. No, there will be, be no show next week. No, it, it, temporarily. <laughs> All right. It will be expanded. In uh in a whole new new uh way that you haven't seen before. Hey, quick but, shout out to possible future sponsor who looked out and like fed us very well so far. Hey, uh, That's a uh, Crabman Crab 305. Man 305. Hey man, uh we've got corn, we've got potatoes, we got Haitian, Satan Creole, the patat, the patat, um, <laughs> the patat bouilli, yeah, the the fried chicken, uh huh, and the ziri cole. <laughs> it is very good. You it should is, try this. It is all here at the spot, and we thank uh, Crabman three hundred five, Crabman Johnny for looking out, man. Do we want to give us? Out, you want to shout, shout out his um location? His location? Yeah, it's uh, two thousand six Opalaka Boulevard, Opalaka, Florida. Zip code 33054. Again, that's 2006 Opalaka Boulevard, Crabman 305. Check out that lunch special. Get the wings and fries, or you can get um, the shrimp and chicken, I believe. They got the boss meal, too. So you're going to have me going through this whole Listen. commercial. <laughs> the boss meal, get a whole lobster tail and 
the whole nine. The next time Word. we get catered for, you're going to see the it. Boss see it. Yeah, the boss meal. I'm looking for it on the menu right now. Like, the the boss meal, where we at? There you go. The ball special. I'm tripping. I got it right here in front of me. The ball mm-hmm. special is, you know, he did the Trayvon thing down here, right? Yeah. He did the Trayvon thing uh, down here. He did the, what was the other thing? Eric Garner. Eric Garner. I can't breathe. Yeah, you he did. You are literally the king or presumed to be the king, king yeah. of of uh, Cleveland or Northeast Ohio, is like to say. Basically. So yeah. you got enough clout to make things happen, but I'll tell you why you won't make things happen. Because by you going up against the police, mm-hmm. who which Secure. who is supposed to be securing the parade <laughs> that you will never have. Ever. Ever have. Say it again. Ever have. <laughs> For a championship parade, who are supposed to be securing you, so you turning on them would be on a clear matter that is their fault is not a good look for you. It'd be detrimental, I guess. Uh, It'd be worse than the decision. So, but here's my thing. All right, LeBron comes out and says something about it. Then what? Well, the extreme thing that they were talking about was sit out the whole season until something is done, and I'm like. These people, they, they, look, Mizzou got a, they let a little, a little increment of Mizzou really, like, I don't, look, here's my thing is, the man is famous for dunking basketballs. Yeah. So, all right, say he would have got a Tamir Rice, a Tamir Rice shirt and wore it to practice like he did for Eric Garner. Or he would have wore a, a, you feel like, like, or had a team picture with Freedom for Tamir on it. My whole thing is, what's next? Eric Garner did not get justice. Trayvon did not get justice by, by, um, by LeBron stepping out and 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 talking about hey, it. Hey, was Sandra Bland's um the officer? A year? How long ago? How long ago after? But he got indicted. Uh, how long ago after the hey, fact? Man, and LeBron didn't say shit about that. Hey man, you can't worry about the pizza getting there thirty minutes. The drone, that's, why, that's why I'm the drone, not delivery, bro. You got the pizza. But um, here's my point. But LeBron ain't do nothing about that. He needs to get all the facts. He's not <laughs> on top of it. And that's that's a weak ass line. That's, that's a that, that's the thing, see. That's the thing that is is very hard for some of these these brothers and these sisters who are in a position. I wouldn't even say position of power, but position of influence. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that we gonna put it on him because he's called King James? Not just because he's called King James, but because he's viewed as a person of power and influence. You're gonna put all this stuff on him, and he's gonna fall short like he did his first couple some of years, years yeah. here. He wasn't media savvy, so when they when they ambush you and they tell you or they ask you something and you say something that typical hood dude would say, <laughs> it'll be viewed as inappropriate. So now they call him in an inappropriate manner in front of his people, not necessarily to them. He says something that his publicist probably said. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know all the facts, even though you're in Ohio. You're in Cleveland, you're right. Cleveland. You, you, you knew. You knew Devontae was getting, what's his name? Delonte was Delon- getting. All <laughs> off your gut. Right. Your mama guts. Right. So you don't know about this Tamir Rice situation? Come on, dude. You know what? No, in his defense, in his in his defense, he claimed he didn't know about the um Delonte being his stepdad either. Of course he didn't. Which is was like part of the reason why he left um Cleveland. The like, I was probably he was, he was pissed off because like everybody knew about it but him. My, my whole thing is my whole thing is I'm 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 other old school with Charles Barkley. Just cause I just cause I, I dunk a basketball and just cause I I could I, I can do athletic feats that most most people can't doesn't mean I'm a role model doesn't mean like I'm I'm, I'm the no I thought I kind of feel cause like listen I, I was at an event the other day and dude walked in with some like and it was a formal event and and a young dude walked in and I get today's generation and I kind of blame my favorite rapper for this ain't got no suits cause we ain't trying to be presidents so we they, they feel they can they they can go into any Anything dressed? No. In, you don't think there's a stigma behind 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 dressing hood? Rizzo. Got rich off of these young niggas. Exactly. <laughs> you contributed to it. So, so we the and, reason you were able to dress up like a man right now. And, okay, and, I get you. Exactly. So you gonna fall into the Bill Cosby lane, even though he didn't do exactly what Bill Cosby did, but in the sense that these kids, these are the same ones that was raised off of you. The one to be wagging the finger like. Tell them nothing. What you're doing is alright. Yeah. That's not. We we both learning. Yeah, <laughs> we, we learning how to talk to the youth or whatever. It's weird to be saying that. But, the youth, right? Yeah, but at the same time, we know how we felt when we would talk to like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't shit. So I think RZA, I get what he was trying to say, 
you know, well button up, do this, that, and the third, but... Rizzo trying to get some sponsors. He's he, he trying to piece his sponsors, man. You know, he, he, in, he in that movie world now. He's trying to be the nah. next Black Tarantino, man. I think he could do that without sponsors. He, gonna, he got that already yeah, because yeah. he got a track record. Yeah, that money, yeah. Yeah, he got that track record. Shoot, he just uh, sold that Wu album to that dickhead that, that raises up the A's by... Um, what? The pill. Yeah, the, it sold it for $2 million, but he in jail now because uh, he inappropriately used his funds. Not for the album, but for other things. So that was just karma. You didn't hear that story? No. That's, that's I heard about dude when he when, when he raised the price for, for, for the AIDS vaccine. Right, right. And shortly after, I think the funds that were used for the research, of, you know, mm -hmm. don't quote me exactly for this, but uh, they were, like I said, inappropriately used. So the feds came in, got them. I and think they also that. seized that album, too. Because he was talking mad shit. He was like, yeah. I'm going to be uh, releasing the album, and RZA is is written within. I said RZA. RZA. <laughs> RZA wrote. The Caucasians it, it, understand you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is so Flo Radio, <laughs> but um, it is written within the contract that you're not supposed to open the album or play it for commercial consumption for 88 years. Word. Yeah. Which which who take that was this? Once upon a time in Shaolin. Oh, I don't say nothing. It can't be 36 Chambers. No, no. This one, this one was, they, they got the dude that make the, the thing that you put the Quran in. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a metal casing, like a custom thing. Yeah, I'm just on. The album cover is made like that. Not the album cover. The album case is put into that box, that metal box. I'll show you the images. Wow, that's got to be a... I, I have problems having to be being able to to flip down to two million. Two million yeah, <laughs> to, yeah. Shit. So it was it was definitely a nice little move on his part, but it kind of backfired with Screlly. That's his name, Martin Screlly, mm. getting his hands on it. So, yeah. um, <laughs> Powerball, you playing? I got two tickets at the crib, oh, okay. and, and 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 the quick pick or I got one quick pick. Oh, I got a story to tell you. So it was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world of AB. <laughs> A dude, dude right? right? Play the same numbers. This, this, this is an old story, now, by the way. Before anybody thinking, don't go look, don't go looking for this guy. I think they live like in Ohio now. They move, no, no, they live, they, they used to live in Boca. They moved to Ohio. Now. They live in Ohio. It could be Memphis. Scat, scat, random thoughts. I never mind. But he plays the same. He's been playing the same number for like twelve years straight. They've been married for like twenty. He's been playing the same numbers. Same numbers. Same numbers. Same numbers. Same numbers. Remember about a month ago, maybe a week ago, it was like three hundred. It was like three hundred. Yeah. So he's, they're at the 7-Eleven. And he forgets to... So he, he runs and tells his wife, yo, go play my numbers for me real quick. And, um... Because I forgot to play or whatever. She, she runs inside. I guess the line was too long. Mm -hmm. So she quick picks. Rather than play his regular numbers, she quick picks. So dude's at a party. So those are my numbers. <laughs> so dude's at a party, right? And his numbers show, show the fuck up. Oh, man. So he's going ham hey, like, yo, we won, babe. Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, oh, by the way, that's not our numbers. You play it all the time. We never win. So I just went in and quick picked. <laughs> so I actually, I said that to say this. What would be your next, what would, what would be your next, um, your response to her telling you that? <laughs> it depends on how much I love her. Seriously, Seriously not, like, I, like if I, if we was already like on. They were like on your, your they were like on your 13 by then. You're 13, but I really don't like you at this point. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, tired of your ass. I'm sick yeah, tired of your that, shit. That's the nail in the coffin. Right? How you know about what? this? This the last fuck. So I talked to dude. I'm like, so um, we got a call coming in. So I so, so I call dude. I'm like, yo, how 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 how's the relationship going? Like, so how did she take your breaking up with her? Hola, muchacho. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the spot. Welcome to the spot. Okay, I was like, speak English, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> as, as somebody uh, mentioned, they said, uh, "Call you kneecaps." Kneecaps. How you doing, boo? Is this who I think it is? Kneecaps. Is this who I think it is? I know that's not ashy. <laughs> Listen, I got looper down like a motherfucker right now. You can't say shit to me. <laughs> no, you probably still ashy. You still, nope. you probably still got ash between your knuckles and your thumb. So. God, God don't like God don't like hey, ugly. So what's up, man? Talk to me. This is our lovely co-host, uh, Dre, calling in, having a silly moment. So, 
All my life I had yeah, to you fight. you have to put my whole business out there like that. All like, my life I look, had to you fight. You can't just say I couldn't make it tonight. No, your hair fucked up. Look, tell look, the people why look, I couldn't come. Look, you got look, a bad hair day, people. I still looked out for you and I put your best picture up there while you talking, so. Wait, let's talk about um, now that we finally have a woman online. Um, this Chris Brown album, since you're in the dance community, I'm quite sure. Oh, I didn't listen to it. You what? What, what are you good for? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so I just never got a, uh, around to listening to it. So you, you ain't you ain't you got diva demands for a person who ain't here? Man, she probably want me to bring her a plate after all that. Oh, this plate good as fuck too, Dre. We got corn. I we got me, potatoes. The potatoes. Yeah. The, this, ter- crab this, rice. This, this teriyaki chicken is bumping. And teriyaki. Huh? This teriyaki chicken is bumping. I, I am going to personally, I'm personally going to endorse the teriyaki chicken. What'd you say, Dre? Like, hey, how much food you got? You got enough? Like, because here's the thing. Like, I, I just ate Doritos today. Oh, so, was it? How, how delicious was that? <laughs> how delicious I mean, was, was so those bad. Doritos? Uh, I, I'll so tell you what. Uh, yeah, I bet it was. I'll tell you what. If you get off this Hollywood shit. Not Bring your ass down here and you can get your uh, make plate his, to make go. Make yourself a plate to go, yeah. yeah. Like all black folks. Because this is a whole pan. Oh, my pan. gosh. I don't understand. I look so hit right now. All right, we're we not going to put, you, gonna put you on camera. Just come get a plate. I, but I got to walk. I got to walk. Here we go. Here we go. Here. You got more, you, no, you got more you excuse than the Republican, love. I'm you, for you. Just come and park right downstairs and I, I, I might bring it downstairs for you. He might. There ain't no guarantee. There ain't but no then guarantee. It's like, I don't know if I'm, I'm going to guarantee you to find parking. See, you finding excuses, though. <laughs> find, find parking the same way you find an excuse. <laughs> the fool to be here. Can we get back to the music? <laughs> and just like that, we're back. The spot like we never left. We just um, coerced. Let me be careful with those words. That's what got Bill Cosby in <laughs> All right. We just got Dre to come over here and um, get some food because Crab Man 305 looked out and, like, decked us out with, what's that, teriyaki? Teriyaki chicken. And they hit him, right? <laughs> Man, listen, that's the best teriyaki chicken I've had outside of China. I ain't never been to China. <laughs> <laughs> but you heard it right there from the chef himself. From, that's right. Are we going to say the place of employment? No, they're, not, they're not sponsoring. Uh, the factory. The factory. <laughs> oh, the no, factory. no, the other place. Uh, Payway? Yeah, they, they, st- they, they still sponsor. I still got gift cards from them. So, yeah, Payway. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, man, the best teriyaki chicken this side of Payway. And um, we got some potato. Yeah, I ain't even trying to potatoes, and the, the corn is busting too. I don't know what what flavor he put into it. Got like a little garlicky, black pepper salt, a little fusion going. But shout out to Crab Man, man, it's, it's, it's shit bumping. Yeah, he put it down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Like you know, we haven't formally signed anything or put anything down, but I like speaking things into, speaking things into existence. I know um, AB was talking about this off air as far as like how this year just. Feels like um, New Year for new things and bigger things. Yeah. Uh, last year, I couldn't even couldn't even imagine some of the things that we pulled off, but we did. And we appreciate y'all for that. Yeah, but um, no, nah, definitely we look forward to um, doing great things with Crabman and uh, that crew over there because started from a house, now they're here. Literally, the food it's, is here. The food you know is here. Saying? Like um, this was a company that was built off of social media. And transformed into, you know, at, at the interview, which you can catch on Frostbites TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step it up. Yeah, subscribe to that on YouTube. On YouTube. Um, we had an interview with <laughs> Crab Man Johnny. I call him Crab Man Johnny. Um, and uh, he basically spoke on the rise from going from cooking at the house, making mm. to-go orders from his house to having an actual established wow. place on 2006 Opalaga Boulevard. Uh, you cannot where? miss it. It's on. I want to say it's on the right hand side, the left hand side. Come on, North come, Miami. Come you e- going east or west? If you're going west, so I'm going east. If you're going east, yeah, it's, it's gonna right be on side. your left hand side. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I come from my west nowadays. It's on the right hand side. No, either no, it's way, the, it's gonna be on your left hand side no matter what. Is it on? All right, go ahead. Peep it. If you're coming from the west, uh-huh. it's gonna be on your left hand side, and that shopping center with that well, Burger King liquor and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're coming east, or if you're going west, it's gonna be on your left hand side. Anyway, it's gonna be on the left hand side too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, All right, I got caught. You can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God has changed me. I live in Broward now. I won't get lost in full out of there. Oh, really? I will. I got lost the other day. I got. I, got, I ended up on Sistrunk the other day. I don't know how the fuck I ended up on Sistrunk. Looking for something. 
No, nah, fool. I, it was traffic on Broward Boulevard. Uh-huh. Now, I, I know Sis Strong is not far off by Broward Boulevard, but I never made that left. Right. Today, that day, I made that. <laughs> Sis Strong, that whole neighborhood is kind of like Overtown. Like, certain streets don't go all the way through. Right. Certain it's avenues cut just cut off yeah. out of nowhere. And, like, some. And I'm running into, like, niggas, like. And niggas is wild out there. Like, yo, yo, we out, we out live. Like, bro, it's 2016, bro. We can't be doing that shit. Because <laughs> when, when I was leaving from uh, that establishment that we went to school at, um, matter of <laughs> fact, I was with Terrence. Yeah. Shout out to Terrence. Terry P. Live. AKA the Uber driver with his Uber Chronicles. He's an Uber now too? Yeah, he's been riding out Uber for the last two, three months. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah he's man. had adventures that he has to call in and tell us about. Yes, I need some Uber stories, bro. Breaking into his car. <laughs> and, but, you know, he's got some things going on. But anyway, but anyway we were walking because I parked uh, my car in Overtown. Mm-hmm. And there was a hand to hand or a delivery being made right there. Right in front of you. Right in front of me. As a matter of fact, it was a white dude. I had to <laughs> but he had a kid in the back seat. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, so I've, I've seen that before though. I've seen that. In my past life, the yeah, when I used to long distrib- time, long, yeah, long, 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 long time ago. Bro. I used to give away free nar- my pharmaceuticals. I didn't I didn't make a profit off it just in case the statute of limitations is up. Um Dude pull up. It was for promotional purposes. Yeah, that's right. Just to make me look good on TV. <laughs> Access denied. <laughs> dude pulled up. And I mean, we we were we were we were selling yay. I mean, it was cracking cocaine or whatnot. And Buddy had a baby. And when I say a baby, I'm talking about like child seat, still facing forward seat, not the little booster seats. Uh-huh. He had a child seat. Like Jit was Jit couldn't be no more than like a couple of months maybe. Right. And he and, and I'm like, man, Lord, all right. I'm like, I'm not serving this cat. I'm not serving this cat because I don't want him to <laughs> light up. <laughs> to <laughs> light up. This, I had, I had, yeah. My moral conscience came in. This is your conscience. <laughs> like I, I can't serve this guy. And I'm like I seen, who, I seen him, I seen him pull up. I seen the kids. Everything inside of me is like, no. My dog, like, man, fuck it. Somebody gonna get this money. I might well get it. Mm. He serves him. I'm like, man, I hope this nigga don't. I hope this nigga don't spark up in, front in the car, dog. Yeah. Lo and behold, this motherfucker took the little little pipe out right there. I'm like, what the kid? Like, get the kid a chance. You know, you know, somebody. Um, I forgot who it was, but was it Jay Z or somebody like that? One of them rappers. It's fucked up when everybody kind of falls into it's that one cliche, little dude. <laughs> but they saw the effect of you know getting in the game like that had, and it was the awakening moment. Like, was, was that what happened to you, or they, did you just no, keep on going? Ah, uh, no, I, I got tired of getting locked up. For <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of lawyer money, man. Right. I, I, I couldn't hold, shout out to Joseph Gibson, man, for getting me out, man. But I, uh-huh. his, his his retainer was too much for me, bro. I couldn't I couldn't yeah. keep it up. And, when, and you know what it was? I came home. I came home May 25, 2006 And um, I went to my old neighborhood, just chilling, just wanting to be the OG, just walk around, get love. Hey, you out? Yeah, I'm out. Da da da. And I got stopped. Hmm. I'm like, no, I'm, I, I'm I'm too old for this shit. Like, I'm I'm just walking, fool. Like. Right. And there was a new cop on the beat. He knew my name. He knew my whole everything. He like, he ran down my whole security. He ran down my social security dude. And I never met him in a day in my life. Right. I've been locked up for two years. I'm, I'm going to the store. And Buddy pulls me over. Oh, after now, you're home. I'm like, who the fuck is you, first of all? Right. And, and he just runs down my whole my whole rap sheet. Mm-hmm. At that moment, light bulb click. Like, no, nah, I can't do this shit no more. Mm. Now, I'm... I'm as I say that, I lied. Because I still like, you know what? I can't do this myself. So I'm going to get a young nigga's work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a young nigga's work and let them do that shit. Because I can't be out here walking the block. Yeah. I can't be out here putting my face out there. And then the chick I was with at the time, we broken up now. I had her drive me to come dro- drop off a package one day, about a week later. Mm-hmm. And we got pulled over. And she went balling. And she, I mean, for those who know who I, my, my ex, y'all know she's not a street ch- chick at all. Right. Like, master's degree and all that bullshit. She went to balling like, oh no, I've never been, i never been stopped like this. They put me out of the car, like they went to ripping this. And I'm like, first of all, I don't want to lose this. She had good pussy. I ain't want to lose right. that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, I, I, I like the feeling knowing that I'm responsible for this shit. Like right. I didn't. So, I'm, so in a sense, yeah, I kind of had a little epiphany. A, yeah, epiphany yeah. of the conscience. I'm like, you know what? I can't. I got too much talent to be doing this shit. Right. So yeah, that was kind of the end of the my my Nino Brown area mm. era. And then from then on, I took my ass to culinary school, and lo and behold, somehow I ended up on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like that was. But in a way, that was the foundation of everything else to come. 
Okay. Like I, I put the same mentality I had to the drug game, or the, the, the drug hustle, into everything. In right. school, like, <laughs> well, not school, cause well, in school, yeah, cause if I didn't fuck with heroin, I wasn't gonna be around no heroin traps. Right. So in school, if I didn't want to do a math class, as you well know, right, I wouldn't show up for a whole fucking two weeks. Right. <laughs> Call me on my cell phone. I promise I won't say nothing. And we're back, like we never left. Yes, we have a microwave. How long you been here? That little mouse chirping in the back is uh is our co-host. We got a little dunk for a little skinny girl. I've always had. Yeah, I just never noticed it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the house. All I saw was the kneecap. You gonna get to, you gonna get on the mic? Yeah, you might as well. You just gonna be a rude guest that just talk on, on the background. Hi, everybody. How yes. you guys doing? Yeah, thank you. This evening. Say happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. I hope you Are guys, we still saying Happy New Year? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We already far each other? No, no, no. We're still within the week of the... Of no, the it's the 8th. Fool, it's the 8th. No. Oh. <laughs> it's the 8th. It's the 8th. It's, the eighth. it's, the eighth. it's the still the first no, two no, weeks. No, no, no. <laughs> it's the first two weeks. No, the first one actually should have been on New Year because it was a Friday. Right. So you missed it. No, I actually came. Oh. Yeah, he was. And he posted it too. He came, but did I get a text message saying, "Are you coming today to the New Year?" No, you did not. Do we have no? Because you, because you, he sure text me today. Because you saying we don't have a show. <coughs> I need to be knowing. Thank you. Hey, thank hey, you. Listen, don't thank you. Okay. I'm just asking questions. Okay. <laughs> just asking questions as a guest she, interviewer. She, she oh, did talk to uh, Dre. She know about Crabman 305, possible future sponsor here at the spot. I love their food. And um, What's your favorite. Well, yeah. Let's well, check out the menu. It, just, it depends. I already know. Um, when I go there, <laughs> I, I usually know. <laughs> get the wing dinner. You want the ball special? Uh, no. Unless somebody else paying for it. Peso, where you at? <laughs> What's up with Peso? Shout out to Peso. He owe me brunch. Um... Peso, you Kanye came out, man. What's going on, Peso? Oh, we yeah. gotta talk about that. He <laughs> said he didn't get around to, he didn't get around to uh, listen to which me, yeah. is because I called him out on Facebook. Weird. On I know because I probably you know what you know what you know what uh, Kanye dropped it and then took it back off. Wait, how y'all feel about him saying that? Um, Nike, like pretty much, uh, Adidas Yeezy jumped over Jumpman because a lot a of people been clowning him like, uh, I pause. don't have a pair of Jumpman. I mean, I don't have a pair of Yeezys, but I got a whole lot of Jordans. But I think, but. <laughs> I mean, personally, the new Yeezys. I think personally, I think they ugly. I like, I like the old, the red October's. I, I love them. I think the new Yeezys look better on people with small feet. They look like Nike Freeze to me. They look like the Nike running shoes to me. Look, I, I'm. They um, look like exercise shoes. Yeah. Honestly, I get them to go work out in because they look like I, they're comfortable. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. They look shoes. like they're. I don't, they're not 300. I'm sorry. They're like what 114. I just, I, I just assume that Kanye had an outrageous price. He, no, he, he, because it's some Jordans I have that he re-released. I'm like, I wear it. They're like, Oh my god, you just got them. I said, No. Nope. Yeah, like my um, my 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 bread, my bread, my bread Elevens. Like I wear them, I guess I keep my shit clean. But people are like, Yo, you bought them shits? I'm like, No, I had these since way, way, way before back. they was taxing. Yeah, before now it was cool. Like, it, but you know, it's so crazy now. I don't even like. I used to be such a sneakerhead, but I just stopped for right. this. For the simple fact, people nowadays, they want to play. Like, it was a time where you could get your shoes early, and the most you're spending is probably, like, well, I wear kids. So, if I was getting my shoes early, the most I'm spending is, like, 120 mm-hmm. Now? Now, if you even want your pair of shoes. It's a rent, man. Man, look. I'd rather buy a pair of heels for that. It's a rent check, it's a rent no, check for Jays nowadays. No, that, that's the thing that, that used to blow my mind when it comes to Jays. Like, you could get you a pair of Ferragamos. For a pair of jeans, you know what I'm saying. But I think it's just because when when you can't get them, people flip them, mm-hmm. and that's why they start doing. It's Once the they start doing yeah. that whole like raffle thing, what people do, they start buying them, and they're like, "Well, if you really want them that bad, you you'll spend it, this you'll money," and right. people Look, pay that money. Hey, we were just talking about this when we were discussing um, uh, Zoe Dollars. You know what I'm saying? And it's no shade towards him. He's just feeding into like what a lot of the generations that are vibing his music. Is doing yeah. they the, the J buys mm-hmm. what's the name yeah. of the song again I keep forgetting blow, um, blow a check blow a check mm-hmm. and it's and like, it's like the stripper anthem that's the, everybody that's, that's, that seems to be the anthem of the year now I don't, I don't get it but nah but it, it's the message you know what I'm saying like you, 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 you're not yeah you're not listening of course you're not listening to some music to uplift you which is sad but at the same time you're telling me to do something that is not Conduce, yeah. It's not conducive It's not productive You know what I'm saying Like okay Blow but a check They high. can't tell you To do Something Like I just feel like If he's singing A song about Blowing a check 
granted it's entertainment mm -hmm. but if you dumb enough to listen you know to the song and be like i'm gonna go blow a check knowing that you don't have a check to blow mm -hmm. then that's your fault <laughs> see you got common sense everybody common sense is not that common, common anymore right. it's not like you you get it you know it's entertainment purpose some people gonna be out there like oh blow a check come on they really gonna be trying to blow a check at the strip like, and i don't understand I don't know, I don't first came out with um what's in my pocket dog mm -hmm, and baby. was really trying to show that they got big face and i'm like yeah it's not K that's the last time i went to kld too because kld played that shit like four times in a row like no i'm not gonna fall for this like i just want like everybody okay i got big face hunters. i got big face hunters but then y'all walking out and trying to get the value of dunkin donuts yeah. like, but you know what i noticed what this is probably so off topic but like when I was driving through like rich neighborhoods mm -hmm. and stuff, I noticed they really are not flashy. Yeah, like at all. I drove by like houses, like looking like mini sized mansions, Man. and they have like putt putt in the front of their car. You barely see like a Benz and Billy. Now they probably have it hidden in the garage. With that being but said. it just shows that you know people with money, like some of them may be flashy, but they and really they understand wait. the value mm -hmm. of. In their own way, it's an, it's an investment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If I if I get a Bentley or if I get a boat, that's my little toy. Yeah. I don't have five of them. I don't have one, the white one for Monday. You know, that Floyd Mayweather and all that. And it's 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 not fair to make these individuals, because we talked about LeBron, we'll bring that back up. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to place these individuals as the blame for why everybody is doing dumb shit. You know, but <laughs> unfortunately, you're the person of stature. We talked about LeBron. Uh, did Why somebody didn't? go on on you about um like kind of voice their opinion on Facebook about that when you kind of posted about the whole Poet. rice situation that he should have said something more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was even the mom came out this week and like, oh, it kind of saddened me that he didn't say nothing. Well, maybe because I got a road trip, man. I got, I got, I got. But three no, days five nights to there, worry about. but no, I think there's an athlete. I forgot his name. Um, I posted him. Play for Cleveland. Yeah, and he had a shirt. He wore it through warm ups. Yeah. Um, pretty much uh -huh. raising awareness about it, and they probably feel like, well, you're from this area, you know, you can say. He got Something. Away. See, but then again, it's just kind of like you can't expect him to come out here and be. Um, my whole thing is he did it like we said earlier. He, he, he did it. For, the... He did it for Trayvon down here. He did it for Eric Garner in New York. You run at least the perception so you think is. You think he's like he know he can't really say nothing because he's in Cleveland. Like that's his city. Yeah, so whatever he says, they're gonna take it and blow it out of context because you no, know. I, I no, they're not the gonna blow it out of context. They're gonna take his word. I like think it's we, I think he got more we, influence in Cleveland. Like if you say something in Cleveland, they gonna ride. That shit gonna have clout because it's LeBron saying. Yeah. Like, Oh, they did. Yeah, because he they, did do that with Trayvon Martin with right. the Miami Heat. They, they the marched to his house when he was, when, when they thought he was coming back. They marched to his house when they thought he was coming back. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm killing my own argument here right now. But yeah, imagine if he comes out and says something like, "Yo, I'm not happy with." But we all got to protect your back though. Like his security detail is Cleveland officers. So like I can't shit on y'all. I can't shit on the niggas who watching over me. But then again, it's kind of like. Uh, it's, 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 it puts him in a tight spot. Yeah, that, that's basically that's exactly. It, what it puts is. him in a tight in a tight spot. And, 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 it's unfortunate, and but to be fair, uh, I mean, an uh, athlete shouldn't be that guy we looking to. As listen, as long as our president of the United States is coming out addressing these issues, then it's kind of like. If Obama addresses, I feel that's, that that should be the end, that should be the end though. If well, if the, if the, if the, if the most powerful man in the free world say something about that's, it, that's again. We keep the most getting, powerful puppet. We, yeah, we get we keep getting caught up in these titles. You know what I'm saying? He is deemed the most powerful, but he in actuality is not. I'm gonna miss that when they do. Why? What you mean? Because I'm so nervous. You see these people running for election? I bet you Michelle get. I, I bet you Michelle get pregnant a year a year out. Pregnant? <laughs> yeah. I bet you Obama plug her a year a year out. <laughs> I don't know what he been waiting on. He probably been stressed. Um, yeah. <laughs> you trying to talk about the Asian? No, Aladdin. Was it Asian? I don't know. That's, well, I am. You know, I do got a little Indian in my blood. Maybe that's what it is. I'm for real. I can show stop. you a picture of my if great grandma. You would have had a little bonnet. You lies, lies, <laughs> lies. I don't have a bonnet. I don't have a bonnet. I don't have a bonnet. I have a turban. Thank you very much. Michael, and I can show you a picture. What, 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 what don't come from? for me, AB. I'm not gonna oh. come for you, hater. Oh, Yikes. Why I gotta be here? <laughs> Cause I'm about to, I'm, Let me pull up my face uh, so uh, Oh man Here we go, <laughs> here here we go. Oh, I heard Brick I'm like what Brick Right She don't do that no more 
Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I check you was there every week. I've been there probably. Well, I wasn't there every week. week now, every other week. Oh. But not every week. I, I, what what if I make okay. you sleep better? I still ain't seen you. Yeah, she quit because of um, the Bloody. people that. Yeah, it started getting crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Started. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to quit my dance. What's well, the news play? The new place. I don't know. Wood Tavern is nice. I like it. I heard about yeah, that. I heard it about Wood Tavern. It never really turns into a party out there. It'd be a bunch of people, but last time I went there, it looked like a you got served battle. Oh, no! Nah, people was in the middle there, like battling. Did you no, they do that in break too. Yeah, but I don't heels, and they was out there like oh, really t- break dancing on their. Right. Like, no, they was break dancing like flipping on their head. It was like crazy. The guy got mad, took his chain off. It was like a real life battle. <laughs> took his chain uh, on. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Translate for us. Uh, I'm thinking to the to the dance he, community. He like he put the hat on. He just started spinning on his head. I was like, okay, it's a battle. So you can't spin on your head with a chain on. <laughs> okay. I'm no, battle. because it'll fly, it'll fly off. Because okay. the type I just of thought style. Like some kind of like sign in the dance community. Like, all right, my chain coming off. Nigga, you did or some shit like. Yeah. Like I'm saying, it was a real. I was there. Like it was a real life battle. I was like, they really battle. Yeah, yeah. It's on. So um, I'm getting word right now that. You didn't hear it, Miss. I'm in the dance culture. This Chris Brown album, Wait, I heard it's pretty dope. I'm sure it is good, but he grew on this one. That's what Chris I hear. Brown he grew on this man. One. Like I he, he, I, I ain't heard this album yet. Don't get me wrong. wrong. I love um, was it X the one with um, yeah, I don't know. New, Flame. Loyal. New Flame. I love that. I love that. Like I see, love that shit. See, we talked about it earlier today. Like every album he's dropped, it's not like he had one hit. Or maybe two hits. It's at least four or five. Bring back Chris Brown song. Yeah, I have. I haven't, listen. Even the songs I don't a, like, I, I haven't heard back Chris Brown CD. Right. Mm. Like, you know <laughs> like, I'm yeah. going way back to wall to wall, and like I'm talking a, about. Give me that. Exactly. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Chris, he really been raw for a long time. Take away, take away that little small Rihanna window. I said, I said four because he kind of fall for y'all generation. Yeah. He he's like what R. Kelly and Mike was to us. us. Yeah. And he got the drummer. And got, yeah. <laughs> R. Kelly? R. Kelly? Oh, this is his birthday. Shout out to R. Kelly. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to R. Kelly. the Capricorns. Yeah. But I don't know if we want to kind of claim Not him. Yeah. Not him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm glad I'm still mad at him for, uh, for last year, Jasmine the God. Yo, <laughs> let me tell you something. You know, not to tangent too much off, but that dude is done. Who? Kelly. Uh, what you mean done? I mean, he was just, well, did, he was just did, did you see him show? snap? Did you see him snap on the um, interview? No. When they was asking them questions, they were like, um, so how do you feel about the allegations? Oh, we ain't going to talk about that. Oh. We ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> but what about, oh, this interview is done. And he just walked off. I'm like. Yes, I did I know, see that. I know Fu can still sing. And I know any, if, they, if anybody book him, it, when people will see it. That. That, but that's what happened. <laughs> you feel they me? did book him. But yeah. he was on some diva shit. And he wouldn't show up till about 30, 40 minutes. Oh, R. Kelly's not coming anymore. Was wasn't it, that what was that, the BET Awards? No, the Soul Train Awards, he was just on there. He was yeah, I mean that's different. But he was lip singing though, so that threw me off a little bit. Well, but he can sing though. Yeah, I seen he him, I still seen him sing. on the gram with like a stupid video. Yeah, yeah, that boy can still. He, 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 he been he been promoting this 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 next CD for like the last two years. But the problem is, this is this is where a lot of the hate was coming. Not the hate, but the criticism was he's over here saying that, hey man, y'all gotta start supporting our artists and all this other stuff. Y'all gotta step up, man. Talking to the the, the fan folks, yeah. and it's like. You fucking you, you shitting on us? You shitting on us? You saw the video I showed you? Uh, I was listen, listen. I seen the video where he, he didn't even show up. Right. But Jazz in the Gardens and I hate to re up. Well, I don't, I don't hate it. I, I, he basically gave us a video mix performance. Yeah, you told me that. Like he'll come on, say some, <laughs> talk some shit, and then he played the fucking ignition video. <laughs> like I, I seen this shit already. I don't. I want to see a live performance, dog. Right. Like he played the ignition video and then went backstage. Well, I know for sure there's one concert I really want to go to, but I know I'm not gonna be able to go to. Mm. Who? Bryson Tiller. No. Adele. Um, Rihanna. Yes. <laughs> no. Adele, man. Let me tell you why I was so pissed. Let me cut off this goddamn mic. Please. I mean, <laughs> at, at sound, at, 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 I'm gonna sound real ignorant and haterish. What's the whole thing about Adele? Right. What do you mean? I don't, I don't really explain know. She a fat lady who sounds black. Yeah, explain that to her. A fat white lady who sounds black. She's she Listen. she is I mean I'm not gonna compare her to Jill Scott. I think she has a better voice than Jill Scott, but Listen. she's Kelly Price in a white body. That's oh. my opinion. Oh. To bring it back to the whole um I love it what down. you call it. I'll try her like that. The, <laughs> the Chris Brown thing. I think even in these times that we in the technology, you know, age that we're in where we have to like you know, navigate as far as promotions concerned. Because everybody coming up with these new ideas. Back in the mm-hmm. day, Tuesday was the release date. 
Yeah, yeah gotta, every Tuesday you had to go get those CDs. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? And even then, they used to come out with like, yeah, buy the juvenile CD and you get a lighter with his face on it or yeah. some shit like that. You know <laughs> or a bonus right. track or documentary or something. Right, like that. you know and what I'm saying? And then like inside, they took dope pulp photos, photos that you yeah. on your wall. Yeah, like so now, now it's switched up and you have to do something like write a letter or... Like but she has to write a letter because we was like, Miss Man, where the hell have you been? She didn't. She's after twenty one. We ain't hear from her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't like down, from twenty one to twenty five. You like what well, damn? Girl. I wasn't downloading music like we were downloading music. Oh yeah, because yeah. we had Live Wire. Live Wire. Wire. Something spontaneous because uh, we gonna download some music oh, yeah. before we go buy the store. Napster. Somebody <laughs> got <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Oh, no, but then when they yeah. Somebody got to really be your fan. The legal actions you stop. I got to really be your fan for me to go to the store buy your album. I know that sounds bad, bad, but that's out my boy. Right. Last time I bought an album, Keep It G, was when I was a Wayne fan. And he done, he done, I ain't know. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about Wayne some of them fan. topics we uh, talked about. I'm, 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 I'm still a Wayne apologist, man. I, mean, <laughs> I listen Wayne to apologist. everything. Oh, you a thug apologist, too. I, I, I listen to no, everything. No, not really. One time, I, I, I never like it, but. You know, the thing that I, I like about, about, about Thugger, despite all his extra, extra shit, his songs be jamming, though, dog. Yeah, that's <laughs> what Eric in the noise yeah, he it, made. It, the, the songs go off. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Right, it's but, the noise. It's how he sounds and how the beat sounds. Like, put lifestyles on any time, yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm jamming to but this. Hey, but Huey, um, talk to Get me up. about, you know, what... Uh, Basically set the gram on fire on the jet black. <laughs> follow him on the uh, jet black uh, you, clothing. You post something new that had the internet going crazy. I posted something yesterday. Did you see it? No, I, I took it down. You though. took it Why? down. I don't know. I mean, I didn't take it down because of that. But normally, I put something up and I just take it down. Like certain things, if it ain't about jet black, I just be putting it up for, you know, let my people know I'm here. Mm-hmm. Put something up and take it how they think it. But I took it down normally after, after like two Let days. them know what happened. Two days. But I posted something about Young Thug and it was just more so like a couple pictures of how he dressed. Oh, and it was just saying I think he did he's not really deep a man. It was on yeah, Facebook too. It was on yeah, Facebook, yeah. And um, the caption. Uh, and I said I'm a man. It was more so talking about um, basically how they were emasculating the black man because he got this song. Well, I already know. I saw that post. All I, all I did post. was put it up, and I didn't need. All I said was I am a man, and then like my followers, you know, you have different mindsets of people. And you had some, um, of course, like exactly in 100. And, you know, everybody was agreeing and stuff like that. But then you had um, one girl said, um, uh, the, spirit, the, the spirituality of a man is not determined by the materials that he has on. It's, um, it's based upon uh, his spirituality, something like that. And it's she basic- would not talk to Young Thug. Right, right. Exactly. Right. That's my whole thing. Because as a, as a woman, you're not going to be attracted to a man. You cannot be right. sharing um, dresses. And then there was another dude, and he was just saying, like, oh, different cultures wear kilts and things like that, so what he wearing doesn't make him gay and this and that. And my whole thing about it was, I said, okay, I understand, you know, what you're saying as far as di- different cultures and stuff like that, but what we may be conditioned to think a man is one way, and that may be wrong. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is, but we're here, and this is what we live. But what is wrong, what, what is more wrong, is to condition someone to believe a man should be this way, and then to do the absolute opposite. opposite you feel me he's a walking like i said earlier a walking wrecking ball to the men the the, the, the alpha male you feel mm-hmm. what i'm saying mm-hmm. he he he's the worst he's the worst he, 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 he gets yeah. his, he gets his nails done he wears I think women he does that clothes to troll, though. i mean but i mean, I mean as, what this, this what this what a year or two into this trolling he called thing. him men sexy Yo, and say, and trying mean, to justify I, it. I feel like because uh, people hubby, people say yeah, that about like, him uh, so much, I think he just take it and run with it. With At this point, though, no, I mean, as a man, bro, it's it's only so jokes ain't that funny. I tell, tell you, I tell you another publicly. joke. I tell you another joke that's not funny. This uh, he what was it? Hear the laughs. He just put it up. Yeah. What 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 was it? The um <laughs> the State Farm commercial. Is it State Farm? With DeAndre the one, Jordan. Did DeAndre Jordan? Did y'all oh, see that? that one. No, no it's new. No, I this can't. Is new. This man has a real live. Weird, right? He, he must have. Right. Oh, oh yeah, I, did, I see and the intro. Wasn't he just like, it was something Bro, like, just he has like. He an afro. Yeah. The only way that he got that wig on means someone braided his hair down, mm-hmm. and then got the stocking cap, glued the wig on the stocking cap. He really got a hair, dude. He looked like he was ready for prom. And he is six foot what? Yeah, seven, 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 foot. seven foot. Come seven on, bro. They got the biggest black man they could find out here. And the, the, the demasculated him. Right. And the weed was still long. That had to be about 28 inches. See, the thing. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. So the thing that tripped me out is, is that. 
there are just instances and moments like I was saying earlier with the the, the situation that's going on in um, Oregon with the militia or whatever. It's just certain things as not just a person of color, but just a person that just sees some off shit. The way you just have a what the fuck expression on your face. That's well, how I, I felt. I, had cool. like, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I thought it was very funny. And then, so you let and, your and man then, do that? What? Right. Do he He's an actor. No, no, He's an no, no, actor. No, 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 no. Did you let your man do that? Would what? You let dress your, up like Beyonce? Would you like your, would you and let your son do that? Do that? Uh-huh. Would you let your son do that? Can you let your son do Either that? Either or. Dress up like Beyonce. Give, if, your, your face give it away. Next no, 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 no. If no, really, if it's, it's like if it's something like that, like the show how it was, and you're working, and you're like, ooh, let me do it. It'll be fun and do Beyonce. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh my god, don't do that. You, they gonna think you gay. Yeah. I'm not gonna no, do that. No, no, no. no. But because you, cause I hate when people. You, I, I hate you when, working for State Farm. Okay, but I hate when people be like, oh my gosh, you guys are dressing in ways over these guys, especially comedians doing that, and it's just like, uh, y'all probably was over here laughing when Martin was playing Shanae, but it was still bad. It was funny. Okay. Then. It was funny, <laughs> okay, but I still wouldn't. I that don't mean I was. I would have been Shanae. Okay. For but him to be Shanae was but funny. But you wasn't on. Y'all wasn't over here like. Oh, Martin. I laughed at DeAndre Jordan, Jordan Martin. big ass too. Why Martin out here I mean, with a weird dress? Like, don't, 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 don't mean we condoning it. Yeah, but I don't. I, I, mean, I, I just see. I, I, I just I, hear I'll, it I'll more now. House, okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And y'all was laughing at Medea. Nah, oh, nah, nah. Nah, by the time I got by the time I got to Medea, I start realizing, hold on now. I'll never really I think what the, what the, I, exactly. I like Medea during the plays. The movies, I was like, I was already done. Maybe with only them, like. the first first Medea when you know when everybody had the, the, the copies on, on the DVD. Yeah, the little bootleg. Yeah. I, 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 that was around then I was like, oh, I'm like, what is this? I'm like, dang, he funny. But, but after a while, like again, clearly. Yeah, 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 don't grow my hair out. Yeah, what is this you got going on under here? You talking about me? Oh, oh. What? Hey, what you going natural now? Get him. Yeah. You natural? <laughs> <laughs> you want you. juice and berries? What you, Get what you been Get putting him. in your hair? I see juice and berries. I see he's been growing. What you, what's your length check? Uh, I'm about as long as yours. Hey, you ain't. Oh, no. <laughs> you Hold up. Boom, boom. You already know. Prove me Shots wrong. Fine. You already know. Shots I don't fine. have to you prove you wrong. You on camera? Prove me wrong. You don't, I don't have to prove you wrong. Hey, you I'm, already know. I, 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 I am I believe, no far. I believe myself. From I being bald headed. I believe okay? myself. I believe myself. You already know. You follow the gram. I believe myself. You on my Facebook. That could have been weed. That could have been. No, you don't see me a whole bunch of times. You first met. I saw the tracks once. What track? What track? It was like right down the middle. What track? You a damn lie. You a damn. My oh, real hair and my weave be laid. Don't play with me. Listen, man, you'll you see it right here one time. You ain't never see a track. It was, it was, you ain't it was, it was never early early see early a track. Day. Hey, we don't come on this show Listen, telling these damn lies. Like you know what? On, on Monopoly one night, man. Whatever. Man, Listen, I'll, I'll you're such, you such a damn hater. <laughs> You're <laughs> such a hater. The truth shall set you free, Well, dude. maybe I should give Embrace you some it. damn casserole for them dry ass dreads oh, you trying to I was waiting for it. I was waiting oh, for man. it. No, no. Only listen to the show. I'm proud of you. Held back. Look at you. On that <laughs> note, this is definitely like, hashtag been growth. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, this has struggling been the spot. Ass. We in 2016. You want to come in here with them struggling dreads. Oh, God. Come on, man. It's, you know what? Get you some, it's some main choice I'm vitamins just let that it, I want to try. It's let, supposed let, to grow let your Let it go in. What's the name? It's called the main choice. The main who? Main, the main choice the main is choice. vitamin pills. Check them out. You check them out. It's supposed to grow your hair like I'll a month or two. Okay. I'll buy your bottle. I'll send you the, the look. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> let me go ahead and tell you guys to check out the spot. On um, Facebook under This Is The Spot, the likes page is Spotsville, where I've got the admins already in the building. i got to teach one of them how to run it. But Get me right. <laughs> of course, you can follow us on Instagram under This Is underscore The T-H-E. Since we got counterfeits now, we got to talk about it. this is another spot show. Really? Yeah. Hey, flat. Hey. I'm going to take the best no shade, no tea. Imitation's the best form of flattery. Hey, man, I ain't mad at no it. it, it shade, they, they no shade, no And family making money off it, so hey, <laughs> shout out to them. But um, definitely, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. I'll get around to the Snapchat shit. I'll let them handle that, because that's on them. But um, Huey, let them know where they can follow you at. All right, Jet Black Clothing, J-E-T-B-L-A-C-K-C-L-O-T-H-I-N. Um, and JetBlackFly.com. Check out the clothes, man. Y'all check me out the photo room, man. I'm here on social radio every Saturday night, 8 to 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, Twitter, your boy AB. After that, Williams on Facebook, the photo room on Wait, Facebook. How do you spell your boy AB? Because you don't, I know you don't spell Oh, it. my bad. It's yeah. Y A B O I underscore uh-huh. AB. See, see. Y'all can follow me at the Sports Chick Instagram, the Sports with an S, Sports Chick no underscore. Z? No. 
Snapchat the underscore sports chick. You on Snapchat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Follow some elbows. And that. Some kneecaps. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and we appreciate y'all for checking us out. Peace. Special combination of ingredients to relieve pain, to relax tension, soothe irritability. This is The Spot. It's a fucking movie, man. On SoFloRadio.com.